Hello friends, I am Shamshuddin. I welcome you financial accounting classes. In this class, I am going to solve problems relating to joint venture account. Let us read the problem. Asha and Basha are in a joint venture sharing profits and losses equally. Basha bought goods costing rupees 60,000 and sent the same to Asha incurring expenses of rupees 2000. Asha provided goods valued rupees 40,000 from her stock and sold entire goods for rupees 150,000. Asha is entitled to a commission at 5% on sales. The accounts were duly settled. Prepare joint venture account and Basha's account in the books of Asha. Before solving this problem, let us understand the nature of the problem. In this problem, the joint venture account and Basha's accounts prepared in the books of Asha. The expenditure incurred by Asha and Basha both should be considered while preparing a joint venture account. In this problem, Basha bought goods costing rupees 60,000. In such cases, the books are maintained by Asha, means anything spent by co-venturer must be debited to joint venture account. That Basha account to Basha account. Basha has incurred rupees sixty thousand for goods. So it is for goods. He has incurred sixty thousand for goods that will take. At the same time, he has incurred rupees two thousand for expenses so that will be taken as Basha's account Basha account it is for expenses he has incurred rupees 2000 Asha provided goods valued rupees 40,000 anything incurred by Asha must be taken in joint venture account Asha has incurred, Asha brought goods valued rupees 40,000 from her private stock that must be taken joint venture debit side and Asha sold goods valued rupees valued rupees 1,50,000 that should be taken credit side of the joint venture account it is cash or bank account this is sale proceeds in this case the books of books of accounts are maintained by asha and the sales made by asha means she has received cash from the sales at the same time she has entitled to a commission of 5%. So commission must be taken and it should be debited to joint venture account. Commission is always based on sales. Sales is 150,000 into 5 by 100. It is 7,500. No other transactions are given. We will calculate the profit on account of joint venture. As Asha sold the entire goods, there is no question of closing stock. I will close 1,50,000. Same 1,50,000 should be written at the debit, debit side and find out profit and loss account. It is profit. This profit is distributed among Asha and Basha in their profit sharing ratio. The difference is rupees 
40,500. How it is? 1,50,000 minus 60,000, 2,000, 40,000 and 7,500. We will get 40,500. 40,500 into 1 by 2. It is 20,250. Same way, 40,500 into 1 by 2, it is 20,250. In this way, joint venture account is prepared. After preparation of joint venture account, let us prepare Basha's account. Basha's account. Basha's account is prepared with the help of joint venture account. Whatever items relating to Basha are entered in joint venture account debit side must be taken credit side of the Basha's account. In this problem, joint venture account first item to Basha's account, rupees 60,000, means Basha has provided goods worth of rupees 60,000 for joint venture. So that should be taken by joint venture account, 60,000. Apart from this, Basha has incurred expenditure for these goods rupees 2000 that is also should be taken it is for expense and this is for goods and the profit on joint venture business rupees 20,250 should be taken joint venture account it is profit it is 20250 no other transactions we have to close this account by totaling 82250 i take 82250 the difference will be either cash or bank 82,250. This is final settlement. Final settlement. In this way, joint venture account and Basha's accounts are prepared in the books of Asha. Thank you. Jai Hind.